Hey guys, welcome back to another iteration of the My Hero Academia manga chapter reads. We got the uh, brand new chapter, 390 here, and I'm also here with Mark. Hi. And Mark, there's something that we always do before every new chapter read, and what would that be? <clears throat> Recap episode! Holy shit. <laughs> I actually kept my ear distance away. It's not, I got that, since watching the Spider-Man movie, I got that second, like, spider sense. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, <laughs> I saw, I just saw like just two seconds of red. <laughs> I was like, whoa, recap though. With that recap episode, you could easily do an edit of just the screen shaking all over the fucking place. Oh, actually, it's actually pretty sensitive right now. <laughs> let me just let, let, let me let me just lower down just a little bit. There we go. I'll, I'll monitor as we uh, play through this. But yeah, let's do some recap. I think primarily we can just go ahead and cover just 389. Uh, it's the one where we had like that cool like illustration of like um, Toga versus Araka, and that was when I made the comment like, "Dude, her mouth is so big; she's like she could chomp like flesh out of someone's face just like that." Easily, easily. And then there's Gang Orca, <laughs> and you don't want to even. <laughs> it's just... Gang Gang Orca didn't he, didn't he win the didn't he win the award for most villain like hero? Indeed, yeah. <laughs> And Almost now, villain looking hero. <laughs> second place now is going to be Bakugo. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Great explosion, murder king, dynamite, dynamite. <laughs> I just we we just say dynamite for short. <laughs> oh my god, I, I forgot about the chapter. Yeah, it has been two weeks given, but like for 389, we had the um another chapter of the like just the Todoroki uh, conflict, and. Honestly, it was just like everybody kind of like going through the emotions, endeavor to seeing like visions here and there. Also, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to like, okay, sorry, I just had a hard time like flipping pages here. Um, people are just like watching, just everything unfold with this. And uh, if you remember, like that one guy who's uh, praying, who had like the Natsu scarf, he was uh, he's praying as well. People all over the world are praying, and the kids as well are like praying, but also reassured because what they see on screen. Because <laughs> we got some weenies to help. We, we got some, we got five. <laughs> we got Yu-Gi-Oh five weens. Five weens. <laughs> Going fast makes me feel. Hey, say what you will. That song a banger. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's actually like really good. <laughs> And that's pretty much it for 389. We'll jump in to uh, 390 right here, as we, right now. That's where, we, that's, where we, that's where we just saw Todoroki and Ida coming in as an ice jet being propelled by fire. And that is what we get into here. Oh, my God. So, and add that last visual. <laughs> yeah, so first panel of 390 is uh, literally <laughs> Ida's, like, reps absolutely busted at this point. Like, Oh, yeah, those pistons just blew. Yeah. You can see he's, he's tired now because he says in the uh, cover in the next like panel, he's like, "This is as far as I can escort you." He's he's just like, "Yo, bro, my my fucking ta my fucking tailpipe's coming out of my legs. Yeah, those things just fucking blew. It is unbearably painful. It's unbearably painful. I'm gonna nosedive immediately. <laughs> so go ahead." <laughs> Toroki is like, uh, "Thank you, Ida." As he preps his uh his uh his move, flash fire fists phosphor. And like this is the panel I saw. I was like, "This is, this is intense." I haven't been spoiled by anything, FYI. So, should be in for a good Thank one God. too. But uh, yeah, now it's just I don't know what Ida's gonna do going forward. <laughs> I oh, this next panel. I can tell you exactly what's happening here. Okay. This you see those rings right there? My man just broke the sound barrier. <laughs> He's, he's officially moving faster than the speed of sound. Bro. <laughs> and they even say it too in the uh, the next page, bottom panel. He's like, the guys are like, I can't believe it. Transonic speed. Fast as a fighter jet. He's using yeah, he's using regeneration uh, or regenerating, regenerating ice constructs to reduce drag. And creating a layer of like heated air to reduce the friction. That's how they're going so fast. It's using science. 
Sorry, I've been watching a bit Dr. Stone, so I'm like, ah, uh, science. It is very stone. Now, if uh, anyone can do a darn thing about the impending crisis at Gunga, it's got to be that dynamic duo of engine and half cold, half hot. You're her only hope. You've got this. Scotchy's like really just like he's he he. I don't even know how to really describe it. He's just he, he's seen a lot over the course of like a like a few hours already, and this is really this really is the last line. <laughs> To really help out those folks. Anyway, as we were predicting earlier, <laughs> here comes Ida, nose diving into the ground. He's like, "Wait, John Rocky." Tsukachi's got one line, right, right on the top, right on the uh, second uh, panel to the top left. Like, oh, one oh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. He got this, and he's like, "You make one hell of a teacher, All Might." <laughs> there we go. Anyway, so anyway, <laughs> to eat, a, eat, to eat a eating shit. <laughs> Todoroki. Thanks to you, I'm becoming who I want to be. As he gets road rash. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, there ain't no shot he didn't have road rash after that. Ow. Don't worry. He's got, he's got, uh, he's got layer on. Bro, you coming out of fucking faster, like you broke, like transonic speed. You broke the sound barrier, you're probably going to mock something, and now you're going against our road. <laughs> <laughs> you're now reducing speed. That reduction is really just you. In the ground, <laughs> I'm assuming. I'm assuming after his engines gave out and Todoroki stopped like uh, doing that, I imagine they probably did lose speed. So that's probably why they're not like you know. Chop! Yeah, <laughs> bro. I didn't even see the next page until now. The next page, <laughs> you <got> Todoroki rolling. <laughs> He's doing a tactical roll. Yeah, the tactical rolls where like he could just roll up onto his feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ida continues like so get over there and make it happen for you too yeah oh. yeah Shoto's getting up he's he, he's running oh, I, <laughs> just a little teaser up ahead I do like the panels of him just like running like they they really like sell the emotions as far as like you know this is just like you're in the moment nothing's gonna look I, so blissful or like so like elegant this is just like a man running he's coming in hot <laughs> watch out watch out Watch out, watch out. All right, I'll finish the last bit and you can take the next page. Um, oh, it's the letter. Dear Mom, I want to tell you something. In Aww. hopes of keeping up with my classmates, I'm making an effort to speak up and chat with them daily. I remember that. Yeah, that was a cute bit. There he is, still, still to the rookie. All that talking has led to some conflict, but sometimes butting heads with others has led to a better understanding of how they think and feel. My friends care about more than just themselves. As we see him running right now, it's just, it's, it's, very, it's <laughs> I know, it's just, <laughs> it's honestly, it's, I'd imagine when it's animated, it's going to be very emotional. Mm -hmm. They get mad and shed tears for the sake of others. We see his family all looking as he's running at them. That's how I want to be too. It's not easy, but I'm trying. As we see Endeavor's holding, uh, uh, Toya, as he's just cracking, mm. and we see, uh, we just see the phosphor and everything coming in with Todoroki right there. He's like, "I'm here, <laughs> I am here, <laughs> I am here to cool you off." Dude, dude, whoa, dude, just the shading. This is, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Orikoshi, she, she, we see. Todoroki, mouth wide open, eyes whitened out. Ah! Ah! And then we see, uh, it's, a, it's like everything is flipped around upside down. My origin as my origin as Toya and Dabi. I, I'm assuming this is him. I'm assuming this is Toya speaking. Maybe if it was so, if it if it was so simple a thing, if only we butted heads like this sooner. We see a younger Todoroki, kind of doing oh. the same thing that older Todoroki's doing right now. Yeah, he does this a lot. There are still arguments I want I want to have, and things still want to say. Bro, we, <laughs> that we little see, bottle we, panel. <laughs> we, we we see what looks kind of like a beam or something getting ready to come out of Toya's mouth. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we see 
total rookies, Foster one off, great glacial egg here. Whoa. And we just see an enormous we just see an enormous shot of cold come out of the fire. Bro. We went to the next page <laughs> and we just see the helicopters like, whoa! Everyone else is watching on the screens are like, whoa! <laughs> The, the, the kids are like, that's our boy. <laughs> the teens are like, whoa! <laughs> the evacuees are like, whoa! And the kids are like, mm. well. <laughs> that's our boy. That's our weenie. <laughs> that's our weenie. <laughs> weenie a <in> general. <laughs> weenie a general. As we see the rain falling and the steam coming up, we see Todoroki. <laughs> our whole family is here well not great but maybe it's for the best <laughs> damn the whole family was here <laughs> up to you and change the shading oh my god here we go oh my god so yeah the next panel after he said like he those first oh, couple did. lines yeah he he, he... <laughs> If he's alive after this, I'll be heavily surprised. Yeah, he he got extinguished. Like that, how Big are time. you alive right now? Like, the whole Todoroki family on the side, he's in the middle, and, like, Toy is just down on the ground, seemingly just either dead or passed out. <laughs> I think he's al he's alive, but he's, like, it's like, how? <laughs> Bro, yeah, like, he, he's, he's an undead right now. And he technically kind of is, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shadow continues, because my great glacial Aegis alone might not have been enough to stop this. He's kind of shaking. I like how they illustrate that with the text bubbles and also the panels, like when he was like jumping in and they transitioned to like what it was during the scene. But the way he's drawn right here is very well. Yeah, done. it reminds me of some other artists who maybe like it does. Yeah, it has something to do with the hair specifically. How yeah, structured. The, the hair is. The hair it reminds me of a lot of uh, different w interpretations of artists' work I've seen. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's, he continues. Ever since round one back there, Toya's fire just kept growing. Mayumi's like, oh, Shoto. He's, he reached, he, as he continues, he reached uncharted territory where I can't tread. Maybe. I was never actually the masterpiece creation. Basically, like, you know, Toya's flames could get way hotter than his ever could, is what he's saying. Yeah, in fact, the, the whole other family, too. So, the way that Shoto here was able to, like, kind of stop him was because of everyone's, like, con contribution and the fact that he was also using ice as well. Yeah, he said, like, you know, his, his fire could never reach that level. Yeah. And here comes, here's Toya. He's like, you all. <laughs> and he just continues, like, die already. Dad, you scum, just die. You all, and me too, drop dead. And is this Natsu right here? He's like, he's freezing from the inside. Toya, big brother. He's like, well, what now? And this is in, I think this is Endeavor right here. He's crawling a little bit. I don't oh. think that's him that's saying that. I think that's, uh, I think that's, uh, Dobby saying that. Wait, what's going on? So the all the the line you're about to say, I think that's I think it might be him saying that because there's no speech thing that goes. Like, oh, there's... oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. He he just continuing on. All that awaits us is pure hell, and this is endeavor like crawling over. Toya, I'm sorry. Oh, I can barely even. Oh, actually, I can kind of see the the actual eye pupils. <laughs> a little bit. They're somewhere in there. They're like further back. Yeah, my man's looking rough. But yeah, Endeavor continues. I'm sorry. I never made it to a Sakoto Peak. Oh. Puts one hand over Toya. He's holding his son. Let me. I'll continue these last two at this point. Toya opens up whatever he has of a mouth. Hate you all. Hate you, Dad. The whole family, too. And Endeavor's like, go on, really. Let me have it. Keep it coming. He's like, you know, get at all his emotions. Mm -hmm. 
I think this is Endeavor saying this because it looks like the lines are coming from. Yeah, me. it looks like some room. Ray, I'm sorry for pushing you to the breaking point. Fuyumi, I'm sorry for leaving you to pick up the pieces. Natsuo, I'm sorry for neglecting you like I did. And Shoto, I'm sorry. To be continued. Oh. As we have another, like, little teaser page here, or maybe a couple more. But, uh, it's, you just see, like, the pending shot of, like, just that battlefield right there. And a little quick flashback that, uh, Toga had right before the big battle. This is, this is like, this is Dobby saying, like, let's smile, Himiko Toga. Smiling is why we live our lives. She looks over. This is like, the, this is the uh, Toga face, but she's already, like, still, like, transformed as twice at the moment. But this is kind of like the internal thoughts. And she just, like, voices Toya in her head. Have you managed to smile? As it shows, obviously, the onslaught of Twices, and they're all, like, dogpiling on Iraka because she was trying to reach out to the original Toga. A face of determination. Yeah, she's still determined, but right now, like, there's just a brief moment for Toga just to, like, witness that. And that's it. That's all we got. No! I'm, I'm glad we at least... I'm glad he got to apologize. Yeah. He never got to apologize to Toya the way he's kind of like been able to like apologize to like each individual in a way. Although now I with guess the family with the family all together now he can truly like properly apologize. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is the climactic end to the Todoroki conflict. So that's one yeah, of the like, books. He's still alive, but. Yeah, but how like, long? <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, he's he's not going to like live on. The only uh, hope... if, he, if, if well, because with the there's some things I guess in the My Hero world that might be able to keep him alive, like maybe like Aries kind of like like always the giveaway. That's, if, that's one option. Yeah. There's also like I don't know if what what what, what recovery girl could do for him. I don't, mm, that's that's tough because he was pretty much on death's door and probably was for a good while, and uh, what's really been holding on was like a lot of emotions. So yeah, pure pure will. It's funny how we, I talked about Doctor Stone earlier, but essentially what they could do is put him in like some cryogenic sleep for a little bit, and maybe just wait for Aerie to charge up her powers <laughs> and just rewind. But the question yeah, is, like, would they would they really be down for this? Like, as a whole collective, would they be down to like bring back this this supreme menace of a villain? I wonder. What if they rewinded him back to when he was a kid? Would he, uh, would the, the memories wouldn't remain, right? Because I'm wondering, like, would his memories remain? I don't think so. That's a good question. It's right a really now, good question, like, actually. Because, uh, uh, we, because with all for one, we've seen that the, even though the younger he got, his memories did remain, but he didn't get to like Toya age, like where, like, you know, when you're a kid True. again, he got to, he True. got to like probably like young teenager so far. Y you know what? Yeah. Like, if we're going to just, like, look at All for One as an example, they probably won't, like, lose all their memories here and there. But, like, maybe, like, just physical, like, stuff. That's, like, that's going to still be a thing. But it's kind of weird, too, because, like, the brain, like, also develops as you age up. So it's, like, where do memories kind of fit into all that? It just so, depends on how you look at it. Yeah, but I guess, like, if we're going to take it, like, as All for One, then, yeah, they would probably still remain. But if that all the more reason, like, I guess... Toya wouldn't be able to, like, go too crazy, right? He could probably be contained, but he would still have, like, the memories. He would still have, like, the trauma. So it's... His body would be healed, though. Yes, that's true. But he'd, have to, he'd probably have to go to rehab. Yeah, but it's, like, he had to go to, like, therapy and stuff like that. Uh, right, right, right. Which I think would be good for him. Mm-hmm. It'll take a lot, though, uh, after that fact, to uh kind of bring him back. In like yeah. in the most positive light pos possible, or even the least positive light, because right now he just like you you can't see it like like right here where he's just like he's not able to formulate like well structured sentences. He can only just express how much he doesn't like anybody in the family. <laughs> but uh, it's it's wild. It's tough. You want like the, the super happy ending, but like I think this is what we can do for uh, that family at the moment. 
So I think the rest of that will be resolved, like, once everything, like, blows over and, you know, uh, if Toy is permitted to have, like, a fair bit of recovery, to, like, still be alive. Otherwise, I can also see him just, like, passing on because, like, it could be one of those things where it's like, there's literally nothing we can do with this guy. Like, he, he lost it, like, the moment that he decided to, like, go almost supernova. Oh, yeah, you saw he's cracking apart like he's getting ready to blow. Yeah. <clears throat> Think of, like, like, Might Guy when he did the Night Guy attack. He, uh, yeah, from, from what I remember, from what I remember hearing about that, he was uh, pretty much about to blow. Yeah, like he was at a point where like his left leg was permanently like gone because like it actually like it all like his entire body cracked and literally just like got chopped down like to pieces, drifting away like sediment. Yeesh. And then Naruto like stopped it real quick, but he did lose his leg permanently. <laughs> but. uh... Yeah, no, that was... <laughs> okay, so first of all, shouts to Ida for, like, taking him all the way there and then, like, eating dirt like a champ. Because <laughs> it really just came down to, like, a special delivery. <laughs> it took him to do that overnight prime delivery. Dude, I, I think the, the fastest delivery I've ever gotten from Amazon was, like, l literally within the day. Having ordered like late in the morning or early afternoon, and it just arrived that night. I was like, "Sheesh!" Shit. It's literally what Ida has done. But yeah, I do like the uh, the parallels that Horikoshi like tends to draw for all the characters. Um, it's kind of looking to like those like big explosion moments to create like the climactic end, and. Uh, it did not disappoint with this one, because that was like, I mean, obviously Shoto has like a lot, a lot of room to grow, but he's definitely this is this is like his uh, his ultimate move used twice, and but he's uh, probably exhausted right now. Yeah, and it, it's crazy too because you can see that he's still trying to make balance with his body, like after the after the attack too. Yeah, I know. It's just that man. That man went through it. Mm -hmm. I think now I, I look at the entire family. They all went through it. Yeah, they all did. So, arg I would say some less than others, but I would still say that they all have. They all definitely been through it. Mm -hmm. It's like if I was to say like who probably been through it the least of them all, I would say probably Fuyumi and Natsuo. But like, uh, they're kind. They of... still had. They yeah. still had their own things they had to deal with. Yeah. I would just like I would just argue that the severity of what they had to deal with wasn't as severe. Are we talking about the uh just like the whole like story or are we talking about like just this instance like in the fire? No, just a story in general. Oh, I see, I gotcha. Because I would I would argue that Ray, Endeavor, uh Toya, and uh Shoto, they had to the three of the four of them I think have had it the hardest in the family. This is true because they were more like directly like involved in like the development here, and you know, like that's not that's not me saying that they didn't suffer as well. Right, but... right. It's just like it's one of those things where like Natsu like he hated his dad because like it was one of those things where he saw all this happening. You know, it was Toya that like went to him, complaining and like whining and also crying to him about like the neglect and the abuse, and there was nothing that like Natsu could really even do, and it was made even worse when like. You know when the incident happened, and and he, there was nothing he could really do about it. So pretty much, yeah, I think him and like Fuyumi were on the same boat as far as just like they saw this stuff happening. They tried to reach out and like connect, but ultimately they couldn't like reach that point and like talk to Toya in in a yeah, meaningful so, way. Especially as young as they were. This is true as well. Because they're kid, they're kids. Mm hmm. And you know, not Natsuo looking back, he's like, I should have been there for him, like of course, but he's like a kid, he's just tired, he's trying to go to bed. This is true. And but it's like, like you know, he, if it's like looking back as an adult, he's like, I fucked up. Mm hmm But yeah, I, I couldn't really blame them either of them because they they were just kids and you know, they they're not really like they don't really see like all this unfolding. No one does. 
no matter the age, no one can see like this type of traumatic event that ever happened to them. Where someone gets like pushed like to the very like brink and all this like unfolds as a result. I mean, this is one of the more extreme factors, but like in in real life, like stuff like this can like start building up to something pretty negative. And we think back on it, it's like, I wish we could have done this and do that. And as you get older, obviously you have more power to you, independence to do some stuff, but there are some factors that you don't really ever like foresee. So it's, it's about kind of like acknowledging like issues that you're already having like at hand and like addressing them immediately. But in this case, it's like Endeavor kind of really messed up. I mean, he has kind of messed up in that case, and he's acknowledged that he's definitely accepted that. That he literally was pushing forward to, like, this peak that he could never, like, really surpass. And so he, like, forced that upon his children when he shouldn't and he, have. And, and he realized that. He was like, fuck. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and this thing, I remember people were like, I disagreed with the people that were like, no redemption for Endeavor. I was like, you guys, you got, you have to see how counterintuitive that is. Because yes, he did, uh, he did abusive things, and that is not something good, obviously. Mm -hmm. But if you see the man, if you see the man truly, if he truly regrets what he did, and he's making an effort to improve himself. Why would you not want that for him? Mm -hmm. Especially with the entire family too. Because with that mindset, that's similar to Toya not being able to like move on. And granted, like he has a lot of like trauma to really back that up, but and right. a and lot I mean, of hate for I, it. Yeah, and like I said, um, I think it comes to the point where when it could, what have with what happened with Toya, they've said like, hey, everyone kind of shares, everyone in the family kind of shares True. something when it comes to that. Like yeah. some type, whether it be small or big, someone, everyone in the family shares. A part of a responsibility of the fate of Toya. Yeah. Because it's a whole family thing. Yeah, it's like he needed, he he, he tried talking to everybody in his family. Mm -hmm. And of course, he didn't help himself because he didn't, he didn't, I understand he's a kid and he didn't understand, but mm -hmm. at the same time, you should often realize that. Especially because Endeavor did explain that his body, he explained to him that his own, that your body can't handle your flames. You have to stop. Mm hmm. Right. That's a problem, too, is that, like, it, it was all positive stuff, too, where it's like, you know, he saw the improvements. He saw, like, the potential. And Endeavor was like, yeah, let's, yeah, you can do it now. But then, yeah, so he saw, like, he's, see then, then he saw, it. one day he saw, it. ow. He's like, what the hell? What's going on? And then that's when they checked in. It's like, oh, it's actually pretty extreme. Like, it, and that's the problem. Like, there, they, he acknowledged that there was a problem there and like tried to address it as best as possible. But unfortunately yeah. for, um, for Toya, that was his world. That's, that's who he was. That was his identity. Yeah. Unfortunately, he had attached himself because Endeavor built him up to be, because that's the thing. He didn't, Endeavor didn't know this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he thought that Toya could do it. And he wasn't, and like you could see even back then, he didn't, he wasn't trying to be mean to Toya. He wasn't trying to, like, he wasn't trying to crush Toya's dreams. He just, I think it's just that Toya had set himself so much on with what his father, on with what their original goal was, that mm -hmm. he couldn't, he couldn't, like, get a new goal. Yeah. Like, I and think it, it, it was about the raising aspect of it initially, where it's like the values uh, kind of lean towards, like, endeavor's dream passed on to his kids and just like a dream for them to find on their own you know yeah and even when he tried to did he tried it i think he just tried explaining it in the most way that i think he thinks that most people would understand mm -hmm. which is toya you gotta stop like you're, you're this isn't good for you you're going to get hurt you can't use your flames mm -hmm. and that's where he's like you should take that as your father is concerned for your safety right but it's, it's one of those things where, like, his response then is like, but if I don't do this, then what am I? What do I do with yeah. my life? <laughs> it's like he, it's like essentially he had attached his identity to his flames, essentially. Mm -hmm. That if he just stops doing it, then, like, what's what's the real purpose? And, you know, yeah, like, as a kid, purpose. like, that, it's like trying to, like, figure out, like, okay, well, I, I should just keep doing this. This is all I know. 
Yeah, and it's very, very unfortunate, especially for a child. Mm-hmm. So I mean, as a kid, you shouldn't have to. I don't. I don't know if anybody as a kid attaches themselves to any like. I don't. I. I haven't personally seen that. Like that's very. I think that'd be a very rare occurrence. Though you see a kid attach themselves to something so like intimately. Maybe yeah. Maybe not intimately, but just simply like that's all they know. Or, yeah, it's. But even then, I feel like um. Just looking at all the series of events, I feel like if you looking at all the events and how everything was, I feel like if you could look at everything that happened and still say that Endeavor doesn't deserve redemption, mm -hmm. with even with all that's happened and all he's done to try and make amends, then I just feel like that's very close-minded. Yeah, I think ultimately at the end of the day, like these are two individuals, Endeavor and Toya in this case, um, that have come to different conclusions over time as well. And are just working towards like what they feel is like their path, and that easily gets shaped like at the very beginning. Uh, it's hard to change that like going forward, but there is like there is still that chance. And for for some it's easier, and some are some for some it's harder. Some of them is probably impossible sometimes. Right. Mm-hmm. In this case, Endeavor was willing to change, like, over the course of, like, the series. And so far, Toya is still kind of, like, stuck there. Mm -hmm. So. Well, that is the chapter, 390. I, I double-checked that there's not really anything about, like, when's the next release? So we'll see. We'll have to check in, like, by next week and see if there's anything that shows up. So we'll... And it's kind of weird, too, because, um... There's like there's a browser source like Viz, but like when you go onto the mobile app, um, one they still don't really show you the actual release date, but they split it up so that Shonen Jump is kind of like that's the place you want to go as far as the app. Whereas like I thought that was just kind of an optional thing, I just kind of stuck with Viz, but uh, everything just got moved. So <laughs> navigating towards like both apps are, or or at least one app was initially very confusing <laughs> just to find it. But uh, otherwise, right. we still don't have um, we don't have a release date, so we'll just have to just kind of like, you know, keep a close eye out for that. But nice to have the the final conclusion. Uh, I think ultimately, as far as like how it's told and everything, it was definitely one of those things where it could have been something as grand as this could have been like a main plot to something, but because it was kind of a, uh, I don't want to say it's like a B side or a side like story type of thing to like further like put it down it's but a, it's, uh, it's a plot it's a plot within a plot yeah they had to deal with the pacing with that and i think it ultimately wrapped up as best as i could foreseeably see it given the other events happening around in the middle of the right. war so it's um i think they just came to a proper conclusion if this is the the conclusion for the shadow story and then we'll just have some like after thoughts and some things that happen like post war later on, but it looks like we're going to shift our t attention over to, um, at least that's what's going to, what seems like it's going to be Araka and Toga. So it's like these, I know Kristoff's been waiting for that. Yeah. Just like the individual like fights here. So in this case, it is Araka, probably Sue as well, uh, versus right. Toga. So you know, we'll see. And this, all, it could be because of how Twice is like drawn and designed, and also the pose. <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> well, you forget Horikoshi also is a huge Spider Man fan. True, true. That might be on purpose. Like that particular character. Although, if there was a web slinger out there in the series, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past. They, 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 he, there in in there is an there is a canon mention in the in the manga of my hero that uh, if it was in Vigilantes or in the original or like, in the official there's like a New main. York like web slinger. Yeah, there is a like a, a web slinging hero out there. Bro, not by they didn't mention Spider Man or Peter Parker by name, but you know yeah, they, right. <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's like, oh shoot, you haven't watched the movie yet, but it was, it's just one one of those things where in like similar thing to Spider Verse, they'll mention like couple like bits and descriptions of somebody and you're like who's that but it's also like it's not you know like it, it, yeah you, you know who it is otherwise it's kind of negligible if you didn't know the context right 
and then there's like big heavy ones where it's like shield hero and he he laughs at one of the lines where it's like with great power comes great responsibility he spats his drink out and the guy's like what's so funny he's like nah no sorry i thought you just got bit by radioactive spider <laughs> any hoosies and just goes on to talk about something something else <laughs> but yeah all right, you guys, I think that's pretty much it for our coverage for 390. Unless, Mark, is there anything else you'd like to uh, say about this chapter? Yeah, I think we pretty much said all we have to say. Very well. In that case, we'll go ahead and conclude from here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we'll see you guys in the next, uh, next chapter, whenever that comes out. But yeah, hashtag bye, everybody. <laughs>